Hey guys, I'm back with another quick no nonsense guide. This time I'm going to show you how to get a ridiculous amount of runes very quickly. What you want to do is you want to speak to the guy at the first step place. So as you create a new character, you're going to talk to this guy. He's going to ask you to go to the round table. So what you're going to have to do is go towards the first boss, die, and then speak to the lady who will send you to the round table. Once you're at the round table, what you're going to do is just do a hard right and you're going to go through to this back here where these big two fingers are in the app. You're going to touch the two fingers, it's going to give you rapture, and then you're going to speak to this lady here. You obviously can listen to it, I've already heard it, so I'm just skipping. Now, I'm not sure if you need to speak to her, but I do it anyway. There we go. She gives you powers of remembrance, but that's not important right now once you've done that what you're gonna, then going to do is teleport back to the first step this is where you start the game once you've done that you're going to either speak to the guy or he's going to leave a message on the floor so as you can see he's gone there's a message now on the floor you're going to read it it says find yourself maidenless and then you need to go over to a certain area so what you're going to do next is you're going to come up all the way past second boss to this area here okay so once you've done that once you've read the message you're now going to come over to rose church now this is just after the second boss so you're going to follow all the way down and you can see where the church is right here now outside the church to the right you're going to talk to the guy outside now when he asks you what to do always put they didn't seem right otherwise it won't work you don't want to pick the wrong option Talk to him again, and he's going to give you a bloody finger. Now, in order to progress through this, what you need to do next is you need to go over to your inventory, find the bloody fingers straight at the bottom. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to load this up. So these ones are right here. Use them. And then what that's going to do is invade another world. You need to use this three times and then talk to him to get the next bit. So I'm going to do that now. Once you have invaded three times, what you're going to do is come back to Rose Church and talk to this guy once again. Again, I'm going to skip it. I've already heard it before. Anoint me. Now he's going to give you Lord of Blood's favour. Now what you've got to do with this is you need to soak it in blood. Now it needs to be specific blood and it needs to go up to where I've marked here. So up by this massive earth tree right here up in this corner and uh, I'll take you there now okay now this place is a pain in the ass to get to so I suggest you go to this big road here follow it and then veer off to the right right there and you'll come up this ramp now be careful because on your way to this place you are going to be covered in mad dust so uh, once the madness bar gets full you'll take a ton of damage and it will knock you off of your mount so just follow the way I go, and you should be fine. See, there's the madness bar. And there we go. Madness. Lost most of my HP. Back on the mount. Just make sure that when you when it happens, you just heal again. Just so if it... That probably happened one to two times, depending on how unlucky you are. You're going to come through this camp on the right, just go all the way around to the right, and then you're going to find this uh, bit of mountain, I guess, going up the hill. Now, another thing to be wary of is, as you approach this church up here, you will be dismounted in like any second now. Just around this corner, I think, right here dismounted now you're going to be invaded so just be careful what i'm going to do is ignore him for now because i don't need to kill him you can actually if you're having trouble killing him just run straight past it's not an issue but once he hits you like that he will increase your madness bar again so just be really careful with that so as you come inside there is a grace 
grab that. And then hopefully not die to this guy. Like I said, just run past him if you can't bother to kill him. You're just going to spawn here anyway. If you grab this item, you've got a sacred tier for your flasks. And then you're going to pick up the item off of this and then speak to her. Once you speak to her, it's going to dye the cloth in blood. And all you then have to do is go back to Rose Church again. Okay, so once you approach the church and you speak to him one last time, we're almost at the end. Talk to him again. He is going to anoint you by touching your hand. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. So you now have a bloody finger. You have. He talks to him one more time. He's going to give you the pure blood, or pure blood knight's medal. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up your inventory. You're going to click on the medal and press use, and it is going to teleport you to the area where you're going to farm tons of runes. So if you turn all the way around. Stick to the right. Power Hill sticking to the right. And you're going to see this big red blood pool. Just keep to the right of the blood pool again. Follow it all the way down. As you get to the end here, you're going to veer to the left. You're going to go right again. And you're going to go up this hill. Ignore everything or kill them, whichever you want to do. Keep making your way up. And then right at the top of here, on your right, will be the grace. And this is where the farm is. So, grab the grace. Okay, so once you hit this grace site, as you can see, I've swapped characters. The reason for that is my other one's a little bit too low. Another thing to note is, uh, if you go grab this gold scarab, it's going to increase the runes obtained from defeated enemies. Uh, where you can grab that is if you come over to this area here up into this abandoned cave you go over this side you jump down into the cave and it's you know it's got scarlet rot in there it's kind of a pain but you know you can find a guy for that and what you're going to do is you're going to kill them and every time you kill them you're going to get 2.4k runes every single kill 2.4k runes this farm is incredible and if you have mass aoe it's even better i don't and that's that but as always guys, that's all I've got for you today, so thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.